Hello everybody, it's Rick with Stumps, and I'm here today playing more Civilization V Game of Thrones Edition. And last episode, we went to war with Peter Baelish, and we declared peace, but we ended up taking most of his cities. We've got Coldwater Burn, Hearts Home, and the Eyrie. Not to mention Iron Oaks, which I got in the, uh, the peace agreement. Leaving him with two towns, Gold Town, which is his new capital, and the Paps. Now, interestingly enough, they are separated by Iron Oaks and Castle Black, so they're never going to be able to link up again. I'm sorry. Uh, and we will eventually take those two cities, too. Um, I don't think that we're going to take it this episode. This episode, we're going to focus on rebuilding our, uh, our nation here. So now that we've got three additional cities, uh, we're going to have to just start to develop all of these tiles. So we're going to need more workers to do that. I'm going to build a couple more workers, and we're just going to fix up all of this damage that I caused. You can see that I pillaged a lot of these tiles when I was trying to take the Irie, so I need to fix up what I, what I wrecked. And, okay, I need to also just station all these units. So we're already um, producing quite a bit of gold. Looks like we're happy enough as well, so I don't need to worry about that too much. I've got universities being built in hard home. And in first the Fist of the First Man, I already built a university in Then, So, what I'm wondering is if I should annex these cities down here. Right now, they're just puppeted, but I would like to control their production. Okay, Balon Greyjoy wants open borders and four gold per turn. He wants to give me that in exchange for marble. Do I have an extra resource of marble? I can't recall. I'm going to accept that. Okay, I did. I had, a, I had a marble that I can spare, so that's not a bad deal. I got open borders with them. And look at this. We have a bunch of crab down here. Two crab resources that are not being worked. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I don't have control of the production, so I can't create a boat there. I could create a boat in uh, hard home and send it down there, though. And speaking of hard home, I need to create a boat to get this fish. So maybe I can create two boats. But let's see. You know, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and annex these cities. I'll do hard home first, and what I need to do is build a courthouse. So let's see here. Courthouse. There we go. Eight turns. After hard home gets that courthouse, I'll go ahead and start to annex some other cities as well. Town Meister. 10% culture and 5% science. Ooh, that's really good. I like the sound of that. Let's go ahead and build a Town Meister. Balon is a threat to the stability of this world. The time has come to deal with them once and for all. Will you assist me in this effort? I'm not ready to go to war again. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. Sorry, Stannis. And I'm creating quite a few new workers now, so I'm actually getting this production up. Uh, Castle Rock has been built in Faraway Land. Somebody that I haven't met has just built that. But I'm able to build trading posts on all of these Tundra tiles that I don't currently have. Oh, look at this! Khal Drago has been met. Tywin Lannister. Okay, Khal Drago and Tywin Lannister. Dorne has discovered every civilization to commemorate their current leaders from around the world will come together for the first cancel of the Sun Spear. Okay, so congratulations to you, Dorne. Good job. Okay, so I was saying that uh, we are just about done improving all the tiles that we need to improve. I built a bunch of workers and... Oh, what's this? I get to propose something. What are we going to propose? Let's go World's Fair. That's always a good thing to propose first. So I need to get my happiness up. Once we get the happiness up, then I can consider, I can entertain the thought of going back to war. Because I do want to fi finish off Peter Bayless. Bayless? Not Bayless. Baelish. Once and for all. That needs to be done. And speaking of happiness, look at this. I can build brothels. They'll give me two happiness. And it says, I wonder where all the happiness comes from. I don't know, but we're going to build brothels and find out. If I build one of those in each city, I'll have tons of happiness in no time. And it's time for a new tech. Okay, I researched education. That's done. So I'm going to do banking next. It's not like I'm not churning out a ton of gold as it is, but more gold never hurt anybody. And speaking of gold, here comes Khal Drago wanting to give me an embassy and six gold for some silver. And I say, yeah, sure, I'll give you that. No problem. I've got plenty of silver. Speaking of, I have some silver down here that I need to work still. I've got a worker on the way, so in two turns, I'll be able to move him down here to the south and get this silver that we have yet to get. Tywin. Uh, okay, he likes the fact that I proposed the uh, World's Fair, and that doesn't surprise me because everybody loves the World's Fair. Look at this road, this lone road out here. 
Oh, that's where uh, that one city was that I raised. That's why. Oh, poor lonely road. <laughs> All right, I am the richest man in the world at the moment, which makes me feel pretty good. Okay, I've got a new worker over here in Fist of the First Men, which is good because Fist of the First Men needs to be worked up. And it's asking me to build a road here. Does the twins want a trade route? I wonder. Let's find out. My disagreements with Peter have become too much to bear. This is a situation that can only be resolved on the battlefield. Will you join me, my friend? You know I will. Ten turns, dude. I'll meet you on the battlefield. The Water Gardens has been built in a faraway land. Ooh, interesting. I wonder what that does. Speaking of things that do things, the brothels! I've got two being built at the moment. Once these are built, that's going to give me four more happiness to add to my 21 happiness. So I'm pretty happy. There we go. A great merchant has also just been born. I've got a great prophet who's going to move into King's Landing and spread some religious love. And, ooh, where am I going to send Traegar or Molin? Traegar or Molin. Let's see. I'm already friendly with the twins and... Uh, Kadoth, so maybe I should send it. Castle Black ain't too happy with me. Norvos, not too happy. King's Landing is starting to get happy with me. I think I'm going to send it to King's Landing. Go do a trade mission there. Uh, I also can choose production over here in Fist of the First Men. What are we going to build? How about a Town Meister? Production over here in Hard Home. What's Hard Home going to get? A Town Meister. And over here in Hearts Home, we need a brothel. Three turns. And we get to adopt a policy. Okay, time for a new policy track. Seven Kingdoms Age. Okay, so until I get into Seven Kingdoms Age, I can't learn Maestri. So what are we going to do? Oh, that's right. We were going Honor. So I can go ahead and do 15% production when training melee, get a free great commander, or 15% combat strength for melee units which have another military unit in an adjacent tile. That's the one I think we're going to go for. Which is also going to give us plus one happiness and plus two culture for every garrisoned unit. That I want to get next turn. Not next turn, but the next policy that we get to choose. Okay, so moving along, we're still upgrading tiles, and I'm going to build a camp here on top of these buffalo. Next turn, we're going to spread some love to King's Landing, and I'm also going to be able to pop that great merchant there pretty soon, too. Hopefully, that's going to be able to sway King's Landing onto our side. And I'm really glad that we got this great profit, because what's this? Balon could end us all? I'm not going to intervene. I'm sorry. I was saying, I'm glad that I have this great prophet because it looks like whatever this dumb religion is that Peter Baelish keeps spreading is taking heart and hearts home in the Eyrie. So I need to purge those uh, heathen religions, all right? It's the old gods or no gods, in my opinion. The time for war for Peter has come. <sighs> Here we go. We're going to have to declare war. All right, Peter. I'm not quite ready, but we have plenty of happiness. Let's get this thing started. All right, we are back at war, and he has a lot of troops. A lot of troops. Iron Oaks is pretty undefended at the moment. Uh, so I have a feeling they're going to go for Iron Oaks first. So I should probably beef up the defenses. But I have a ton of units that I can get down there pretty quickly. Unfortunately, I don't have a road built to them at the moment, which is troublesome. Oh, it looks like Dorne is allied with Castle Black because Castle Black is on our side. That's really good to know. Okay, so hopefully that will distract them a little bit. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to annex Iron Oaks just so I can take over. And it looks like that's fine because I can, uh, I can purchase stuff here. So I'm going to purchase a giant. That's what I'm going to do. And also, I'll probably purchase something to beef up its defenses, like some walls. There we go. I can also start to bombard here. I like that I'm at a close enough range to bombard within his borders. That is very convenient. And if I can get a great general down here, that means that I can actually pop him and take over uh, his lands. So if I pop him right here, for instance, I can take over all this land. That'll actually be really, really helpful. Also, the Paps seems pretty undefended at the moment, too. I could do the same thing over here in the Paps. I think I'm actually going to do that. Go for a little sneak attack. And I can send him through the Twins. Because the Twins is safe. And I built a road, you can see. So, yeah, I can send him over there, no problem. That's actually pretty sneaky. Okay, so while he's busy trying to fight from Goal Town, I'm just going to sneak into the Paps real quick and try to take that as quickly as possible. Okay, I've got some units that I can start sending down there. I'm going to send them by way of the Twins, though. I would be foolish not to do that. Oh, I'm really glad I've got this road with the Twins now. All right, let's start sending you guys down. Okay, I've got a trebuchet as well. Great. 
And, oh, I've got a trebuchet here, too. Start sending you down. All right. There we go. I think that's a good start. So, it looks like he's got a pretty formidable military built up within his borders, but uh, that's it. He can only create what's within his, in his borders. So, this is pretty much his entire army. As long as I can take them out, keep them at bay, I shouldn't have too big a problem. I'm not going to attack just yet. I'm going to let him deplete his forces a little bit. Try to whittle him down. It looks like Peter is hell-bent on trying to take back the Eerie. We're not going to let that happen. You can see that he's starting to send his forces, and he doesn't have quite a bit as far as forces go, but he's trying to send them down towards me. But I feel like we've got quite a defense built up here. I'm going to move this guy back. Oh, I can actually upgrade you to a crossbowman. I need to do that. We need to upgrade these guys. There we go. I'll upgrade you. But I've got trebuchets here. So I can start bombarding. And I'm going to do that. Just start bombarding these guys. Just start to weaken them if we can. Perfect. Okay. And let's see here. I've got a giant as well. I'm going to keep that giant right there. I'm not going to move him just yet. So what's happening in the paps? I can go ahead and use this great general now. Just like I said I was going to use him. I'm going to use him right here. Bam. Look at that. Took a ton of land. And I'm going to bombard you. Right down here. Okay. Iron or long swordsman. Eh, just stay put there for a second. And you guys can keep on improving tiles. I think you guys will be fine. Alright. So now we need to start moving these units down towards the packs. Let's do that. Okay. So this guy is going to go right here. I'm going to move this trebuchet right down here. And I got a couple giants as well. So let's start moving the giants down. You giant are going to move right there. Okay. The Paps is pretty surrounded. I think that we have the firepower to take it. Norvos, though, is not our ally. So they will be trying to attack me. I'm going to have to keep my eye on them. But I, I feel pretty confident that we'll be able to take down the Paps. The Paps is going to be ours. Okay, Then you need production. What are we going to produce up here in Then? Um, let's keep producing some units. Let's keep turning out some units. And I can produce giants. I've got the iron, so I may as well. And I'm going to choose a new host, huh? Again with choosing the host here? Oh, that's right, because it just became the World's Congress. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and choose myself. I won't win it, but I'm going to choose myself anyway. And I look like I just created a giant, so let's send him back down here. Castle Black is currently angry with me? Why are they angry with me? What have I done to anger them? I, d I don't know what I could have possibly done. I haven't been in their territory. I haven't attacked them. But did I attack one of them by accident? Uh, I might have attacked one of them by accident. Did I do that? Oh, I can't even remember. I don't know why you guys are mad at me. I'm sorry if I killed one of your units. I didn't mean to. Oh, jeez. Pentos has made peace with the twins. And Pentos has a new ally. What? The Dreadfort has declared war on the twins. The Dreadfort has declared war on Doran. What? George. There are wars going on here that I have no idea about. Things are happening. Okay, I'm going to back you guys up. Oh, I can upgrade you? Yeah, let's go ahead and do the siege upgrade for you. That'll be great. Oh, you don't even have a monument? Uh, what is it with these turkeys who don't build monuments? I don't understand it. Okay, here we go. We can start attacking the packs. Oh, yeah. Oh, forget about it. The Paps is going to go down. Like, it doesn't even stand a chance. And, oh, I can uh, play a little song here. George Frederick Handel. Water music. Great. That is music to drink water by. Okay, I can go ahead and attack with my giants now. That's a safe attack. Let's do it. And I can attack with this guy, too. Can I take it, though, is the question. Yes, I can. Paps is ours. And we got 109 gold for pillaging it. So I'm going to annex that city. No, I'm going to puppet that city. There we go. Puppet it. And now that we have the Paps, now what we got to do is take Gold Town. Gold Town is his only city. If I take this, this city, it's over. The war is over. And I've got enough units to do it. And it looks like he's not really guarding it on the western front either. He's sending all his troops down to Castle Black and towards the Erie. So this may be my chance to slip in and take it from him. We'll see if I can do it. I'm going to go ahead and promote this trebuchet. And I'm going to start moving him up here towards Gold Town. Are there any other units I can move? I think that there are. Like, yep, this trebuchet here, I can move you down. 
Let's go ahead and start moving you. And you, I'm just gonna fortify here at Hard Home, okay? I'm gonna keep one of you up there. Oh, I can't move him past this unit in King's Landing, damn it. King's Landing's at war with me, I just realized that. Well, shit. Um, I guess I could attack that unit, try to move it out of the way. Oh, look at this, I just see this Vale Longship coming from the south, which means that Peter Baelish has to have another city on the ocean, because how else would he get that longship? Unless he sent that longship a long time ago and then forgot about it, which is totally a possibility. It's either that, or he has a city on another continent. We will find out once we take Goldtown, because if Goldtown isn't his last city, then, you know, we're gonna have to find that last city of his. Well, that's that's a riddle. That's a mystery that we're gonna have to solve. Okay, let's keep building giants. I'm enjoying this giant train that we're creating. And I'm gonna need to create more trade routes once this war is over too, because I've only got one trade route, and that is not gonna cut it. That is not gonna cut it whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and promote you to a crossbowman. And moving on to the next turn, we're gonna need to heal up these giants. Then I'm gonna start marching them towards Goldtown. His forces are getting pretty depleted at this point. Okay, they're going to start attacking my giant. Will he be able to withstand the onslaught? He will. No problem. No problem there. He's still got half his life. All right, and I've got two trebuchets on their way in. I've got two giants stationed right here. So I'm just waiting until everybody is happy and healthy, and then I'm going to send them in for the kill. Okay, Norvos is starting to send troops in. i got to make sure I pay attention to them. I don't want to... Lose track of what's happening over there. Okay, it's time to start moving these trebuchets. And it looks like a couple of my giants have some promotions available. That's really good. Okay, I'll be able to move you right there. And you, crossbowmen, are going to be able to start moving in as well. I'm going to move you right down here to Goldtown. Actually, I'm going to move you right here. We'll move you in next turn. How about that? All right, I suppose it's time we begun our attack on Goldtown. But first, let's go ahead and attack from the Eerie. Because we can. I want to go ahead and let my giants heal up if we can, so I don't want to have them be attacked too much if we can avoid it. And these units over here, for the most part, I think are just going to play sort of as a distraction. Hopefully they'll just be able to pull the attention of some of these troops towards the east while my troops over here attack from the west. And ooh, who can you hit? You can go ahead and hit that longbowman down there. Great attack, and okay, so I've got a bunch of units I can start to move in. I'm going to move you in here. I'm going to move this crossbowman in here. You can move in. Oh, right up there. Perfect, actually. This giant is going to move there, and this giant here is going to move right down there. Cool, all right. We're getting in there. We're surrounding them pretty good. This unit, ah, oh, cool. It's got a heal promotion. I'm going to go ahead and use that heal promotion and move you right down here. Long swordsman. You're going to move down here. All right, a lot of movement going on here. Um, all right, and you, my friend, can you attack down here? I'm going to move you down here. Build a wall right there in front of the Eerie. You can move there, and you can actually attack as well. You may be able to finish off this pikeman. You did. Great job. Ah, oh, and finally, the last giant come in, in from uh, Coldwater Burn. Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to take this no problem. No problem. Look at all these giants we have. So many friggin' giants. And I've still got four iron to spare. I know a lot of the iron I'm getting is from Elena, so if she ever ends that deal, then we're gonna be up shit creek. But until that deal ends, we've got a lot of giants on our side. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing to have. Let's see if this giant can finish off this bowman. I think he sent a pretty good chance. If he doesn't destroy all of them, he'll destroy most of them. There we go, one at a time. Just take him on. Okay, he left three of them. Not a bad attack. All right, and my workers, you're just going to kind of stay put for a little bit until this war is over and it's safe to move you around. Okay, so we're in pretty good position to attack. It's probably going to be next turn. Maybe we'll be able to do it in one turn. We'll see maybe two. Who needs production? Heart's Home needs production. Uh, go ahead and do an Aqueduct. That's fine. Okay, let's see how this shakes out. Let's see who attacks next. Okay, Goldtown bombards my crossbowmen. Crossbowman gets hit by the bowman. Okay, still alive, though. These bowmen are going to attack, and then probably this longswordsman will finish him off. Okay. Oh, there it is. These bowmen. They'll finish the job. All right, not bad. One, one crossbowman. That's not bad. That's not a bad loss. These pikemen are going to be pretty good against this trebuchet. Let's see if this trebuchet can survive. It does. 
And that's it. Okay, so we got uh, Trebuchet attacked and we lost a Crossbowman. But that is not bad, all things considered. And if this is indeed his last city, then once I take Gold Town, it's it. That's it for Peter Baelish. But if he does have one across the continent, then I may sue for peace now that he's just off of this continent. I don't care if he remains in the world for, for right now, but ooh, Kadot's in awe of us. Why? For our culture. Nice. We are producing quite a bit of culture. 166 per turn, which is not bad. That is not shabby at all. Yeah, I've got a couple giants that are pretty tough. Got a, a decisive victory there. I'll be able to take him out. Say goodnight to the trebuchet there. And this giant here got some major victory here. I'll go ahead and attack. Maybe this long swordsman will be able to come in and finish up the job. We'll see how that works out. Nice. Okay. All right. He took out quite a few of them. Yeah, this long swordsman will be able to finish the job. No problem. And I've got a lot of units that are perfectly poised to start attacking Gold Town now. Like this trebuchet. Okay, this trebuchet can actually move in, start joining the combat fun. There we go. Now that I feel like the Eerie's pretty well protected at the moment, I'll send this uh, general in as well so we can start helping these units here. I'll probably move him back here, actually, just in case that long swordsman dies next turn. And okay, let's start attacking now. I can set up the trebuchet to start bombarding. This trebuchet as well. Or trebuchet is actually in perfect position to bombard. Can you not attack from there? Why? Oh, because there's a hill. You can't attack over the hill. Damn it. Oh, shit. The Paps is being attacked by Norvos. I don't think they'll be able to take it. I don't think it's that big a deal, but uh, I, I always underestimate Norvos. I keep turning my back on him, and they keep catching me off guard. Okay, we've lost a trebuchet. We may lose a giant. Actually, we probably will lose a giant, but it's okay. One giant. Casualty of war. No, is he gonna survive? Is he gonna die? Is he gonna survive? How's this gonna shake out? It's freezing. I need to know. Are you alive or dead? Oh, crap. Okay. Come on. Come on. Ugh. You fought a good fight. You fought a really good fight, friend. You shouldn't be ashamed. There is victory and death, all right? You have a luxury resource that my people desire. You want to give me open borders and five gold for some silver? Yeah, you got it, friend. Let's make that deal. Also, we have a unit that gets a, a promotion. Ooh, is he going to get the siege promotion? I hope so. Oh, which one is it? And is it going to be the siege promotion? Castle Black still angry at me. Not as angry. Still don't know why. I'll have to go through the replay and see what I did to offend them so. Now I have two Great Prophets on the field, by the way. Great Prophet down here, which still has another charge left to him. And a Great Prophet. I may be able to use him to upgrade my religion. I haven't done that yet. Okay. Who gets a promotion? Let's see. Where's my promotion? Oh. Also, I've accumulated enough to uh, get... Uh, you know, do I want Honor or do I want to go Maestri? I'm going to go Maestri. I'm going to get the first policy in Maestri there. Okay. Choose production. Um... You're going to get a... No, 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 no. You need to get those fish first. Let's go ahead and get you a work boat. And then... That lighthouse will actually pay off. The Eerie needs to build something. Um, oh, the Eerie has crab down there. Speaking of work boats, let's get you one as well. A city can attack. Iron Oaks. It's going to attack. There we go. That pikeman. Great. And my giants are ready to attack. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. There you go. Attack him. Okay, one of them survived. Oh, this may be it, guys. This may be the turn that Gold Town falls. Oh, for sure. It's over. It is over, Peter. Gold Town is mine. Oh, ho, 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 yes. March in there and take it. Take it with your giant hands. The plans I had so carefully laid did not work in another time and place. Things would be different. But guess what? It ain't another time and place. It's right now, Peter, and you're out of here. Create a puppet. 
That's it. We have defeated the Vale. So I guess they didn't have another city off of the continent. That must have just been an old ship that had been sailing around for years and years and years. And finally um, wound up in uh, the coast of the Erie. And uh, that's it, though. That's it. Peter Baelish. Not in the game anymore. And as it stands right now, we now own half of this continent. Look at this. Look at this. Half the continent belongs to us. So I'm going to go ahead and repair the damage that I've done from this war. Glad that this war is finally over. But then we're going to set our sights on Lady Elena because uh, we're not done with this war by far. And it's strange that Lady Elena doesn't have a city up here. Her cities just seem so weirdly spaced out, right? Like Tumbleton isn't even attached to the arbor or High Garden or Bitter Bridge. So this is, I think, going to be a pretty easy war. But in the meantime, I'm going to make peace with all of these city-states that I was at war with because I don't want to forget to do that. There we go. Dreadfort, make peace. Wow, he was uh, aligned with a lot of cities. And Castle Black, you're just mad at me for God knows what reason. You're irrational, though, so maybe that has something to do with it. Okay, guys, that's where I'm going to end this episode of Civilization V, Game of Thrones Edition. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, if you haven't yet, give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. I think that we are going to win a military victory. It's either going to be cultural and military, but I'm really encouraged to go military because I get culture from everybody I kill. So it's kind of a win-win. But I, I do have bloodlust, and I do want to take over this continent. I want to have it all to myself. And then I'm going to send ships to all of the different continents and I'm going to take over the entire world guys so come back next time when we'll begin that world conquest I'll see you guys then